that's a long drop. Alright. Well. Let me go ahead and get started here. Hello, Mr. Alejandro. My name is Doc Champion. This is my associate here, Lucas Joyce. Nice what to meet you. What is this all about? So, up in the roads. I was coming up with my friend here to get a drink, and I have met this man before, and uh, he had approached me and said he would like to speak to me. So I let him speak. I go around on the corner of the building, keep our little voices real down low, and he tells me that uh, he done faked his death. His name is Ramirez. He done faked his death a while back. I have the in my pocket. There you go. That, that's the note he done talking about, man. Quick. And uh, and then he he was asking if I uh, wanted to join up in a posse to come and uh, come and try and get you, I guess, because uh, he felt ashamed and wanted to repent. And I guess getting you was the best way. He did all of this. Yeah, man. Please just kill me. Let me shut the hell up. Tell me this. What you got there? This is what? me and him. No. Tell me this. Why didn't you go ahead and uh, pull the trigger in your own fucking mouth? Why didn't you do that in the first place? Why didn't you follow through? Hmm? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Because right now you have all of these people around you. All of these people. That have you worried sick about you. I am worried sick about you, you absolute fucking Nimrod. You were my friend. And you did all of this. Think it that you could start your own life. A new, with a different name. But you're so fucking stupid. Put them back there. What is the matter with you? I told you already. You're not ready, and now you're causing other people trouble trying to find me. Why? You changed completely differently from what I once knew you. You were once a happy, upbeat guy, and now you just want to kill someone for looking at you differently. <laughs> no. That's not what I am at all. It's clear and obvious that you don't know who that I am. I only spent a month with you. I didn't know what to think of it, okay? Do you see this right here? Yes, I do. Well? Please, make it quick. Make it quick is too easy for you. You're not gonna die. I think it's time for you to eat your own words. Please, just kill me. Shut up! Lass. Bye. He was happy when he was with you. Before all of this, he, uh, every few days or so, probably every fucking night, he'd tell me he'd want to kill himself. But after being with you, you made him happy. And now there's some stupid bullshit between you two. 
that I can't quite get my head around. I don't care for it. I don't really understand it. I don't really care for it. You don't have to explain it to me. But this man was happy with you. He was very happy. You can't force someone to love you. Please, I do not need your input. Is there anything you have to say to him? Before he walks out that bar, I wanted to tell him how much he's putting people in danger. How he's making me and my job look like a mockery. How he's gonna get people killed. How he was unsafe. And the knowledge he was supposedly trying to use to, you know, get a little bit of attention is not how I appreciate things. But unfortunately, uh, people are pointing guns at his face because of the fact that uh, I got punched in the face. I'm Freeman. Oh, and don't forget George. Because he was too... What's the word? Only about himself. What's it? Narcissistic? I was trying to let you down slowly, Ramirez, and I tried to put in many times input to stop it, and you get carried on. George has been there to see it, Freeman's been there to see it, and you kept going on and on and on. And then it got worse. You decided to offend me, he punched me, and now you lie to me. And every single little thing that, uh, Probably goes against everything that I believe in, and you took the utter piss out of it. And uh, trust me, I'm not happy at that at all. But you know, I'm not one of those people that decides if you should live or die. I came here with you to take you to Alejandro so you could actually talk to him and if he wanted to throw you off the cliff I mean that's his own uh, intention but he can come and find you whenever he me. wants ah. he will have to find you by himself with his own intentions but you need to realise the shit that you put people in the amount of guilt that you cause people and the grief in this town it wasn't just me and George and Alejandro, it was many of people, you sick, little, twisted fuck. Enough. That's enough. Ramirez. Kill me, please. Goddamn weapon. 